Which frame would you choose to build a house? Wooden or steel? We shall figure this critical question out together. We will even test this out today. Stay with me. It's going to be fun. Ah. There are three questions that you will face when choosing a frame for your house. First is the cost, the speed of delivery and assembling, and finally, the frame's lifetime durability and reliability. Let's compare the advantages and disadvantages of wood and steel frames. I will start with the advantages of wood. Wood is a highly popular and simple product sold in the U.S. You can buy it easily in any shop, like Home Depot. You can easily find an expert who can assemble a wood frame. You won't need to make detailed drawings for assembly because many experienced professionals have practiced and know all about wood frame construction codes and technologies. So what's the problem with wood today? That would be its growing cost, of course. For example, when I came to Austin and began constructing houses two years ago, this OSB sheet cost $50. Today, we bought it for $150. It tripled in price. This disadvantage made me think of finding an alternative steel frame, which we will discuss later. The most significant advantage of a wood frame is that it can be easily reconstructed, redesigned, cut off, made longer, or shorter in process. So, you can construct a house very quickly. For example, we have finished one of our projects within two weeks. In two weeks, we have built the wood frame for a house of 2,000 square feet. Another advantage is that such allied contractors as electricians, plumbers, or conditioner assemblers will work efficiently with wood. They can drill or set up the pipe through the wood with ease, and you won't need to explain anything during the process. One more advantage is that you can give back the rest of the wood after you finish construction. The company will give you a refund. Or you can move the rest of the wood to another construction site. So wood is a straightforward product for construction. Wood also has its disadvantages. The most significant disadvantage is its price increase. Still, there are other bad sides. For example, a wood frame is always curved, and you won't fix it when covering the frame with plasterboard. As a result, the frame will be curved in many places. Another bad side is that termites can eat through the wood. Needless to say, you can order an anti-termite treatment, but it will stop working sooner or later, and termites will inhabit your house. One more bad side is that a wood frame starts creaking with time. This is because it's assembled with nails that make a creaking sound when the wood moves. It's a big and hidden disadvantage that will happen eventually. Another wood disadvantage is its technological limits. For example, you can't make large wood stairwells in a room, but you can build a very high house. To construct a very high house, you will need additional frames that are metallic or concrete. These are wood limitations. Now, let's talk about steel. The first advantage is that it's perfectly smooth. You can see now how perfectly the column aligns with the metallic post. There are zero cracks, which are impossible with wood. So, you will get a perfectly smooth surface inside and outside the house. Termites do not eat metal. Also, it's almost similar in price to wood. Then, of course, you will face the problem of finding an expert to make your metallic frame drawings or assemble them in the future. Unfortunately, there are much fewer experts. I would say 10, 20, or even 30 times less who can assemble metallic frames. Why is this so? Because metallic frames are primarily used in commercial construction. For residential construction, it is used very rarely. But today, when the price of wood is growing, I'm confident that metallic frames are the future in construction. There are other significant advantages. For example, metal won't creak with time because it can't crack. In addition, it is covered with anti-corrosive material, so it won't get rusty and move. As a result, 
it will stand firm for a long time in your house. Another advantage is the possibility to order holes for pipes and wires beforehand if you order a metallic frame on a plant. You can also order the holes for metallic pins or self-drilling screws. This will allow your contractors to assemble the frame easily and quickly. Still, like wood, metal has its disadvantages as well. You mustn't touch it with your tongue in such cold weather. <laughs> Why not? Don't do that. I'm not paying your medical bills. Now, about metal disadvantages, seriously. In my opinion, the biggest one is the lack of experts capable of constructing or assembling a metallic frame. Another weakness is that you won't move a door, a window, or change a height when a metallic frame with drilled holes is assembled. You can't change anything. Another flaw is its long production time. It's required to make drawings, order, and go through extended delivery processes. The metallic frame will require a longer time from drawings to assembling. Wood is much better in this case. Another disadvantage is its complexity for electricians, plumbers, and conditioner specialists. That means their work will be more expensive because they will have to lead wires through more complex metal. Well, let's go for that promised crash test. This wooden frame is assembled with nails. We are trying to break it with the concrete wall. It's easy. The frame has been broken down. Now, let's try a metallic frame assembled with self-drilling screws. We are doing the same. It's been flexed but endured the load. So, the metal has successfully passed the test. However, the wood has worked also. So, these are the advantages and disadvantages of constructing a house frame from wood and metal. If you're interested in viewing the house built of wood and metal, I'm inviting you to see my sites in Austin, Texas.